So I think the questions we need to ask ourselves before we can really figure out what to do is what places us at risk. The biggest risk factor we're going to talk about in terms of brain function is, is heart health. And again, you'll hear me repeat this throughout, a healthy heart is often a healthy brain. Another risk factor that people might not consider in terms of dementia or future decline relates to depression and isolation. Another risk factor that's so obvious for decline is age. So just naturally, the older you get, the more likely you are to have cognitive decline. We really can't do much about that age risk factor. That's just something we're going to have to deal with, that cognitive decline comes a little bit with age and adjust to that. But I'm here to talk about what we can do then. Get out, meet people, interact, do fun things. It's a lifestyle that's going to be the most important part of brain function, and that's why this really is a long-term thing. If you think about it from childhood to young adulthood to adulthood, it's not entirely clear what level of exercise helps, helps, but it's very clear that exercise does help. Even just walking has been consistently shown to reduce brain loss. So exercise, exercise, exercise. And that's what the research is just so consistent on in terms of being able to keep a healthy functioning brain. Another part of lifestyle is diet. One of the biggest things that keeps coming up is the Mediterranean diet. And what the research shows is that this really does seem to help uh, brain function and help reduce the decline of your risk for Alzheimer's disease later on. So this is just something that the, the literature seems to continually show. And it's because it seems to be the combination of all these things, not any one in isolation. So of all the things I've really discussed so far, it's really important to note that these things don't necessarily stop dementia from happening. What you really hope to do is delay the onset. 